Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hi, with Sean out here, about to give you another Injustice God of Mothers video. In this video, we do the full five battles of the Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman Challenge on Nightmare Difficulty, and I'd like to say thanks to the Elite 7 Aries video, we also have the Rashal Ghul Scimitar finally maxed out, and that was pretty expensive to do. We actually burned through most of our green shards. We still have a decent amount of blue and red shards, however, so Death we're going to be testing this out with Destro because we know he does have a good two-hit light attack combo. So in the first challenge, only bronze characters are laundry team. One challenge currency, one energy per fight. In the first matchup, we have new 52 green lanterns, Sinestro, and Regime the Flash. Bronze cards are level 40, Elite 5. The silver card is level 35, Elite 2. Skip the match is 1,000 credits. Begin. <laughs> Power Green seemed to work really well with Destro. Almost at three bars already. The Sinestro comes in. We're gonna combo into this. Sinestro at one bar. We're gonna try to slash him out. Death and the buff hits are about 1500. And the eye for an eye in midair. The flash eliminated. Starting with one bar of power is pretty strong with Destro. Especially when we need to get rid of a silver card. 13,213 damage for the victory in the first fight. 223 XP. 460 credits. In the second matchup, we have Challenge Chaos. Going up against the Flash, Lex Luthor, and Regime Sinestro. Skip the match is 1,000 credits. 15% attack for the opponent. Begin. <laughs> Just gonna try to slash out the flash. Lex Luthor comes in. We're not in three bars. Now we are. We don't want to use it on Lex Luthor. That pretty much wipes him out. And are we gonna get it before the swap? No, yes, we are. As Sinestro should be eliminated. So Rasha Gold Scimitar mostly used for getting up to three bars easier. However, you can use it with light combo enders and just slow the opponent's power generation down. 226 XP. 1,500 credits. In the third matchup, we have Insurgency, Green Arrow, Harley Quinn, and Nightfall Bay. Skip the matches, 1,000 credits. Now, it is super tempting to just go and buy two upgrades for Wonder Woman, as that would put us at Elite 7 on her. So, Green Arrow pretty much dried up. No reason to use light attacks further on so Harley Quinn comes in. It's a softer card. So Harley Quinn is gone. Green Arrow almost at one bar. He's not going to get there. And the eye for an eye will easily get rid of Nightfall Bane. Thirteen thousand two hundred thirteen damage for the victory in the third fight. Two hundred twenty-eight XP. Five hundred forty credits. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Dampening Field. Going up against Green Lantern, Cyborg, who is black, and Sheikh Ahmed Habibi hailing from the sand. Let's skip the matches, 1,000 credits. Now, keep in mind, the Dampening Field does not work on Deathstroke's Begin. passive ability. You still gain half a bar of power. There's the energy shield. Green Lantern still gets eliminated. Cyborg comes in. Cyborg getting whittled down. He is at one bar. Sheik Ahmed Habibi comes in. We're going to the eye for an eye mid combo and get rid of him. Sonic Disruptor blocked for 287. Cyborg eliminated for the victory in the fourth fight. 231 XP. 580 credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Nightwing, Regime, Catwoman, and Wonder Woman. Skip the matches now. 5,000 credits. Begin. So Nightwing takes 25% less damage from base attacks. Wonder Woman gains power when blocking. So Nightwing blocks them, and Catwoman comes in. we try to power drain and get away from the Catwoman. That is still enough to get rid of it, so Nightwing is in. You see, the power drain in single player really didn't do much. Only about a third of a bar of power. That power drain from Nightwing enough to avoid three bars. But we're going to go off the eye for an eye. Wonder Woman eliminated. 
As you see, we actually went away from using the knife collection just to get more critical hit chance as we feel we don't need to heal. 13,213 damage for the victory in the fifth fight. 234 XP. 620 credits. And that additional bar of power makes it a lot easier to knock out the silver card without having to whittle her down a little bit. So in the sixth matchup, we have Challenge Radiation. Go up against Regime Solomon Grundy, Insurgency Deathstroke, and Insurgency Harley Quinn. Let's get the match. It's 5,000 credits. And it looks like we have silver cards one fight earlier. Now they're in fight seven. And it looks like a stronger card, too. This could be really bad. We might have to actually switch our roster. Born on a Monday, Solomon Grundy eliminated. Harley Quinn is in. Puts Deathstroke at three bars. Somebody off the eye for an eye. Harley Quinn eliminated. The Deathstroke comes in. And Deathstroke gets annihilated for the victory in the sixth fight. 236 XP. 660 credits. In the seventh matchup, we have New 52, The Flash, Catwoman, and Solomon Grundy. So the middle card for this one fight is level 40, Elite 5. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. Now if we get Catwoman in first, we just have to get her down a little bit. We can try to use uh, Green Arrow to Power Drain and stall. So the Flash goes down. Catwoman does come in first, which is what we want. We want a heavy attack first. And we're going to go off the eye for an eye. Catwoman eliminated. As we did over 2,000 damage to her. Solomon Grundy is in. Actually very tempted to power drain here. I think we're going to do that. So the electric arrow is blocked. Still puts Solomon Grundy under one bar. Solomon Grundy not use a special, so we're going to go off the power drain again. That cleaver spin hits pretty hard on Green Arrow. Now we can get Destro back in. Work our way up to three bars. That power drain does get some value there. So we're going to go off the eye for, for an eye, and Solomon Grundy goes to his front of the grave. So basically, stalling time makes it easier to get to three bars, take damage off of Destro. And yeah, pretty valuable there. The Russia Wheel Scimitar power drains under one bar. And you see it again. Solomon Grundy eliminated for the victory in the seventh fight. No problem dealing to an Elite 5 Catwoman who only had like 15,000 health. 239 XP, 700 credits. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Second Special Attack Disabled, which we'll probably never use anyways. Going up against Sinestro, Insurgency, Lex Luthor, and Regime Cyborg, who is black. Middle card is now level 35 Elite 1. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. So Cyborg can actually survive a eye for eye. We really want to get rid of Lex Luthor first, though. And he does come in first, which is really good. We want to try to power drain as much as we can. Keep him away from a bar. Looks like we're fine. Do we even need the power drain. I don't think we do. Cyborg comes in. Sonic disrupts his block for 551. And now we are going to power drain them. Now we're going to go the eye for an eye and soften up Cyborg considerably. If you're thinking about just getting rid of Lex Luthor outright, but because he took a lot of damage from basic attacks, it's a little bit more valuable to get it off on Cyborg. So it does get rid of him. Lex Luthor comes back in. Lightning kick from the Flash. Doesn't really hit that hard. Now the whole point of this is to trade out a couple power drains. Ignorant fool. So there's the second power drain. And now we can get Deathstroke in and finish him off. Lex Luthor eliminate for the victory in the eighth fight. 241 XP. 740 credits. In the ninth matchup, we have Harley Quinn, Regime Green Lantern, and Destro. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. Begin. A little bit more value from Destro, knocking him out with the fit super. 
The Green Lantern comes in first. Getting rid of either one is not a bad idea. So we're going to the eye for an eye. Green Lantern eliminated. Destro comes in. Power drains under one bar. You see the Rocket Ghost Scimitar is pretty good. When it's fully maxed out, you can actually control. And that full auto sets up a Deathstroke elimination. Harley Quinn is in who can't do much. That's blocked for about 600. Harley Quinn eliminated for the victory in the ninth fight. 244 XP. 780 credits. In the 10th matchup, we have Challenge Dampening Field going up against Insurgency Green Arrow, Regime Nightwing, and Green Arrow. Skip the matches, 10,000 credits. So here, getting off the Eye for an Eye seems a lot more valuable on Nightwing since he takes half damage from basic attacks. Because of the Dampening Field, power generation is going to be slow. Nightwing comes in first, which is really bad. He is at two bars. Power Drain puts Deathstroke under two bars. Have to be really careful about taking too much damage on Deathstroke. So we're going to get in the Flash to eat this Power Drain. Have to get rid of Nightwing as quickly as possible. Here we might just want to stay out and eat another Power Drain. Uh, we are at three bars, so we're going to go off the eye for an eye. Nightwing eliminated. So Freeze Arrow blocked for 663. No Hurricane Ball. That would be devastating on Destro. Here we have to be a little bit careful because we're starting to get low on health. So I'm going to go off the Swordsmith. We're probably going to switch over to Green Arrow. That hits for over 3,000. We're going to power drain him down. Very important to slow down his damage. So he's probably going to get off an arrow here. No, he does not. So we're going to open up with a second arrow. Flash is almost at three bar. So Speed Zone might be the difference here. So we're going to wait until the Flash gets it, hopefully the three bar, even though there is dampening field. So there's the Hurricane Bow. If Green Arrow can get the, uh, that off, he is going to get rid of some of that. Freezer, however, is not enough. Green Arrow is at one bar, so we're going to Power Drain again. We're going to get the Flash in. He's pretty close to three bars. Take off the Speed Zone and soften him up considerably. Well, Nightwing did get a couple power drains on Deathstroke, which was really bad, but it looks like we're going to be able to recover here. So we got the Swordspin Green Arrow eliminated for the victory in the top fight. I bring it. 247 XP. 820 credits. In the 11th matchup, we have Regime Solomon Grundy, Regime Doomsday, and the Joker. Skip the matches, 10,000 credits. Now, in this scenario here, we want Doomsday to get knocked out before Again. the Joker. So if he comes in, that would be really good. Solomon Grundy takes a big power drain there. So born on a Monday gets some serious value, even though it's Friday. So the Joker comes in first, which is really bad. The reason it's bad is because if Deathstroke takes too much damage, it's just going to knock him out. So the Joker gets power drain. We're going to have Green Arrow take the bag. Block for 1426. We're going to set a second one. So as you see, Deathstroke is at three bars, but I really don't want to knock out the Joker yet. Because if Doomsday comes in with the Supernova, that could be devastating. So that Power Drain puts him under a bar. We're going to go off the eye for an eye. Doomsday eliminated. And now we're in pretty good shape to deal with the Joker. Use some heavy attacks. And what you gonna do when that racist kicks you in the face, brother? It's the Joker gets eliminated for the victory in the 11th fight. 249 XP. 860 credits. Alright, so like usual in fight 12, we have challenge radiation. So we're gonna throw in Harley Quinn and Lex Luthor along with the Flash. So we got Harley Quinn. And we missed Lex Luthor. There's three variants. So there's Bronze Lex Luthor. And we're going to throw in the Flash. Now the Flash is going to have the damage gear. The Flash. Harley Quinn will have the Lex Corp. And Fourth World on Lex Luthor. So we're going to give him damage gear. 
They give them the Knife Collection, Blade of the War God, and Promethium Longsword. No point the starting Flash. at one bar. Lex Luthor, so Lex Luthor is going to take the entire fourth world set, as if we actually need it. And yes, one of these days I will get the mace up now that the Rocket Duels are maxed out. Harley and Harley Quinn. Quinn will take the two piece Lex Corp along with uh, the Jewel 357 revolver for utility abilities there. So, in the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Radiation going up against the Flash, Regime Bane, and Regime Sinestro. This good match is 10,000 credits. So, here both Bane and Sinestro can be knocked out with a super move. <laughs> Harley Quinn's there to kind of just take damage off the Flash. So Sinestro comes in first. Death from above blocked for 13, 14. So the Flash starting to get down on health. Sinestro gets eliminated. Bane is in. We're going to play it safe and go defensively. Great Slam blocked for 226. Part of the damage gets reflected. We're just going to work our way up to three bars. And there's the bomb. So we got the speed zone regime bay eliminate. Now usually the Flash can do this fight by himself, but we are playing it a little bit safe. That's why we're using some of our premium bronze cards. 15,007 damage for the victory in the 12th fight. 352 XP. 3,400 credits. So the Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman Challenge Battle 1 on Nightmare Difficulty is completed. And in the second challenge, Aquaman must be on your team. So we're going to throw in a level 49 Aquaman first. We are going to throw in Sheik Ahmed Habibi. And we are going to throw in Apocalypse Darkseid so we can Black level Adam. him up. So with Black Adam, we're going to give him the Rajo Ghoul Scimitar, even though it's not really a good gear item for him, we're going to give him the Knife Collection and the Blade of the War God. Black Adam. And Aquaman, Aquaman, we are going to give the lovely Riddler's King, just because we can, and Apocalypse Dark Side doesn't get shit. So in the first matchup, we have Regime Sinestro, Green Arrow, and Insurgency Harley Quinn. All cards at level 40, Elite 5, Silver. Skip the matches, 1,000 credits. Begin. So we don't have a lot of critical hit chance with base attacks. And Sinestro is block spamming. So she thought that Habibi will easily get to three bars. So Sinestro is gone. We're off the tap Ahmed Habibi. Green Arrow is eliminated, leaving Harley Quinn by herself. Shazam! Line of Fire blocked for about 2,200, and Harley Quinn eliminated for the victory in the first fight. 299 XP. 480 credits. For the second matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration. Go up against Insurgency, Lex Luthor, Regime Nightwing, and Regime Bay. This is going to match 1,000 credits. Begin. Nightwing takes half damage from base attacks, 25% health for the opponent. So there's one bar. That power drain is going to be devastating. This will enlighten you. And there's a lot of power drains on this team, so using the level 2 power drain is actually not a bad play. Because that should get rid of Nightwing. Yes, the move doesn't suck. You have to know how to use it. You have to power drain the power drainer so they can't do it on you. In a situation like that, the level 2 move actually works really well. Here we got the Arabian Sand Shocker on Regime Bane, who does block him. Snow whittles down his health. Great Slam connects for about 7,500. And Regime Bane bitch slap for the victory in the second fight, as his shins got kicked out as well. 301 XP. 520 credits. In the third matchup, we have Regime Doomsday, Wonder Woman, and Regime Green Lantern. This good match is 1,000 credits. Begin. Doomsday gets eliminated. Wonder Woman is it. So 
Starting off the Tath Achman Habibi, the Wonder Woman Eliminator. The Green Lantern is it. Terminus so Smash blocked for 3465. That's gonna put Black at him in range and get rid of him with a level one. That's enough to get rid of him for the victory in the third fight. 305 XP. 560 credits. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Life Drain going against Solomon Grundy, the Joker, and Sheik Ahmed Habibi. The skill of the match is 1,000 credits. Begin. From the grave, about to kick in. Solomon Grundy getting beat down, pussy juice and all. Sheik Ahmed Habibi is in. We're gonna bash the show with. Electric burst block for about 3,500. Cheek Ahmed Habibi eliminated. We're gonna go the Taz Ahmed Habibi and get rid of the Joker. You see, Life Drain is not very strong. I think they need to buff it up a little bit, like 50% of the damage. 72,818 damage for the victory in the fourth fight. 308 XP, 600 credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Deathstroke, Nightfall, Bane, and Catwoman. This good match is 5,000 credits. Begin. So Deathstroke eliminate, Nightfall, Bane is in. So Nightfall Bane about to get eliminated. And because Catwoman has like no health, we're gonna go off the Arabian Sand Trap. And get rid of Catwoman for the victory in a fifth fight. While that move doesn't do nearly as much damage as a super move, the power drain component can be really struck. 312 XP, 640 credits. Which is why the move does less damage. At the sixth matchup, we have Challenge Chaos. Going up against Regime Flash, Regime Cyborg, who is black. And Insurgency Harley Quinn. This is good match is 5,000 credits. Begin. So the Flash gets wiped out. Cyborg is in. Can we get rid of somebody else before we get swapped out? That would be pretty cool. Nigger Fist hits for 19,000. Apocalypse Darkseid is in. He can get some serious value with Bleed. There's a curse. That could be really bad, too. Harley Quinn tags in. Pick up the Tep of the BB. Harley Quinn eliminated. Now, for anybody who wants my opinion on the best gold card in the game, it's really a toss up between Arkham Knight Batman and Red Sun Green Lantern's passing. While I think that Arkham Knight Batman by himself is the best card in the game. There are some situations where Green Lantern's passive works better as a team. 314 XP, 4,680 credits. At the seventh matchup, we have Solomon Grundy, Deathstroke, and Regime Nightwing. This is match is 5,000 credits. Begin. <laughs> From the grave kicks in. Flavor spins locked for 1970. Pussy juice radiating. Silent Grenny is almost gone. Destro comes in. So we'll save our super move for Nightmare. Silent Grenny comes back in. That's not going to be enough. And we're going to go off the Tesla Ahmed Habibi. Nightwing eliminated. So while a lot of people say Black Adam is probably the worst gold card in the game, I think the absolute worst gold card in the game is a toss up between Prison Superman and Bane. 317 XP, 720 credits, not to mention that Regime Black Adam's shield with the 4th World Gear can be amazing as you get a lot of damage and you can basically get a lot of your health back. In the 8th matchup we have Challenge Countdown, going up against Green Arrow, Insurgency, Harley Quinn, and Catwoman. This couple of matches 5,000 credits. And if you really think the 4th World set was bad back in the day before patch 2.8, you can actually use the Kandak Garb with 
fourth world chest plate and helmet. And your level ones will heal like crazy. Now they still heal pretty good, but obviously you have to use the three pieces to get the regen. Well, Harley Quinn taking a lot of damage. We're just gonna back her out. Got plenty of time left. And once again, we got the Arabian Sand Trap on Catwoman. And again, that dominates her for the victory in the eighth fight. 321 XP. 760 credits. In the ninth matchup, we have Regime Sinestro, Insurgency, Lex Luthor, and Regime Flash. So the match is now 10,000 credits. Begin. 25% so health, 15% speed and blood for the opponent. We want to do the bulk of the damage to Lex Luthor. So hopefully the Flash comes in next. The Sinestro blocks spamming. Lex Luthor does come in. Bring off the test from Habibi and get rid of him. So again, the Rosh Al Ghul scimitar is proving pretty valuable. Because that additional bar of power is letting us do stupid shit quicker and easier. So even though you do less melee damage, the fact that you start with one bar of power and you can power drain in a lot of cases makes up for it. And I really can't wait to test it out and eventually on a max out Archimedes. As the Flash gets eliminated for the victory in the ninth fight. 323 XP. 800 credits. And we receive three energy cards. In the 10th matchup, we have Challenge Second Special Attack Disabled. Going up against Regime Bane, Regime Doomsday, and the Joker. This is going to match his 10,000 credits. Begin. <laughs> So Regime Bane eliminate the Joker is in. The Bane hits for 7238. So Joker eliminated. We're gonna have to test the baby and Doomsday eliminated. Shazam! 2,818 damage for the victory in the 10th fight. 327 XP. 840 credits. In the 11th matchup, we have Regime Green Lantern, Black Adam, and Regime Cyborg, who is black. This good match is 10,000 credits. Begin. <laughs> So Green Lantern gets eliminated, Charles Lena Bibi is it. Electric Burst is blocked for about 3,200. Charles Lena eliminated, we're going to have to tap Charles Lena Bibi, and Cyborg eliminated. Shazam! Three hundred and thirty XP, eight hundred and eighty credits. So we're gonna make a quick roster change. We're obviously gonna throw in Regime Aquaman for one fight. I think we're just gonna double bane it. It's not like this is a hard fight. So we're gonna use Lugidor and regular bane. bane. So we're gonna give him the Knife Collection, Blade of the War God, and we're gonna give him the Rosh Al Ghul Scimitar. Bane. So in the twelfth matchup, we have Challenge Dampany Field going up against Nightfall Bane, Wonder Woman, and Deathstroke. This is going to match his 10,000 credits. I'm not sure why Wonder Woman actually has worse stats than Nightfall Bane and Destro, as I'm pretty sure that Wonder Woman actually has more stats normally. So Nightfall Bane block spamming his way. I'll have to try light attacks. This is why sometimes when people ask why you block, it's so you don't get block spam by the opponent. Cause that shit's annoying as hell. Rage Slam block. So this way if you don't get block spam like that, you can actually just do your damage quicker. So yeah, block spamming is annoying as shit. We got off the break the bat and Deathstroke eliminated. So that is why I like to block, especially with slower characters when the opponent block spams. Shoot toss block for 2719. And you don't want to fuel Wonder Woman blocking either, so that's another reason you kind of want to block. So they feel the pain into a Rage Slam. That's for 3776. Should cause block. 
And the Rage Slam again. Just for 3356. Finally, we're gonna spear Wonder Woman for the victory in the 12 fight. Right in her pussy. Oh, me so horny, motherfucker. 332 XP. 1,380 credits. So the Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman Challenge Battle 2 on Nightmare Difficulty is completed. Now we have a bronze booster pack. Which side we receive? A Nightwing, Game Over, which is Prime Level's Level 2 move, and Bat Cave, which is Batman's Energy Boost, which we we'll probably get almost every challenge. So in the third challenge, only bronze and silver characters are along your team. We're going to start off with Sheikh Ahmed Habibi. And we are going to throw in Catwoman along with... I think we're going to go with... Go with New 52 Green Lantern. So for Sheik Ahmed Habibi, we're just going to give him damage gear. We're going to give him the Knife Collection, Blade of the War God, and Prometheum Long. So we're not going to worry Black about Adam. Rashid Ghouls this time. Catwoman. But for Catwoman, we are going to give her uh, Rashid Ghoul Scimitar. We're going to give her the Nether Realm Kama. And the Power to Scream of Sticks. Catwoman. So the first matchup, we have Hot Girl, Killer Frost, and Red Sun Superman. The first two cards have one promotion, the far card has two. All cards are level 30. This is going to 5,000 credits. Begin. So because of Hot Girl's passive, you can't tag out for 8 seconds. It can be annoying in certain cases, like for example if the opponent has the Ibis stick. Basically guarantee the burn damage when you tag it out. Killer Frost does not get the black ice off there, and that's really good. We're not even at one bar yet. Flying Punch blocked with 3456. We're gonna have to get off the Arabian Sand Shocker just to heal up. Hot Girl is in. So we're snared again. Hot Girl is at two bars. We could see a bloody warrior. But we're gonna go off the Cat Claws and prevent that. So the bleed does not stick on Superman. Flying Punch blocked for 3226. Superman eliminated. We're going to have to cap claws and get rid of Hot Girl for the victory in the first fight. And that actually went a lot smoother than it could have. 275 XP. 500 credits. For the second matchup, we have Challenge Chaos. Going up against Red Sun Solomon Grundy, Red Sun Batman, and Arkham Harley Quinn. This is match with 5,000 credits. 40%, actually 55% health and 50% chance of unblockable level 1 moves for both Solomon Grundy and Batman. That clear has been hit for 41-47. We're just going to have Catwoman finish off Solomon Grundy. So Red Sun Batman is in. Getting the 3 bars might not be a bad idea. Explosive battery block broken on the second hit for about 1,500. So Green Lantern is it. Harley Quinn Pop Pop does get rid of Green Lantern. I really don't care about that. I'll take that Pop Pop. Block for $27.99. I mean, you know, the Electric Burst Times 3, just because you can. So Harley Quinn survives. We're going the nine lives. Red Sun Batman should be eliminated. That is enough to get rid of him. Harley Quinn back in. Pop Pop blocked for 32-14. But Harley Quinn gets eliminated for the victory in the second fight. 278 XP. 540 credits. For the third matchup, we have Batman, Regime, Superman, and Loba. This is match is 5,000 credits. Begin. So Black Adam at one bar, so is Batman. Explosive Batarang blocked about 1,000. Batman eliminated, Lobo is in. Shotgun and all. You can't power drain Lobo, so level 2 move kind of suck. Lobo gets eliminated. Regime Superman is in. We're going to go off the 
Have Ahmed Habibi and get rid of Prime Superman, not Regime. Shazam! Shazam! 29,128 damage for the victory in the third fight. 280 XP. 580 credits. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Power Surge going up against Red Sun Deathstroke, Red Sun Green Lantern, and, and regular Superman. Cards getting a level of 31. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. So Deathstroke and Green Lantern will take 20% less damage from special attacks and super moves, and they cannot be crit or stun. However, Superman can be. Ten percent speed for the entire team. Deathstroke not using a special. That's a big mistake. Green Lantern is in. We got the Arabian Sandstorm. Doesn't even hit that hard. It only hit for like twenty two hundred because they got blocked pretty badly. Aim too. I think Gold Black Adam level two move is a little bit better. No Guardian. I don't know why the opponent's not using special. We're gonna get in Catwoman closer to three bars. Flying Punch blocked about three thousand. Rashi Girl Scimitar prevents the one bar special. We're going to go off the nine lives. And Superman is about to get a bonus. The super Speed kicks in. Flying Punch block. We got the Arabian Sand Shocker on Superman. That is enough to get rid of him for the victory. In the fourth fight. 283 XP. 620 credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Regime Raven, 600 Wonder Woman, and Regime Aquaman. This is the match is 10,000 credits. So both Raven and 600 Wonder Woman have 30% damage and power generation. Raven also drains power at under 40% health, which is getting there ridiculously fast. Doesn't even get to one bar before getting bashed out. Wonder Woman is it. Look got the Arabian Sand Chakra to put the pressure on. If she doesn't block, yes she does. She's okay. No egg is wrapped. Wonder Woman also eliminated. I don't know why the AI has been acting so dumb. I got the electric burst on Aqua. Could set up for a cat scratch and get rid of him. Opponent still not using a special move. It looks like we are going to use the electric burst and the cat scratch. Although that one is not blocked, so that's an easy elimination for the victory in the fifth fight. Eighty-six XP, six hundred and sixty credits. So we're gonna make our first roster change. We're gonna throw in. We are gonna throw in Deathstroke. Um, we are now gonna throw in Insurgency Lex Luthor, and we're gonna throw in Silver Nightwing. Deathstroke. So Deathstroke, we're going to give the same gear that we used Bronze Deathstroke, Rathal Ghoul Scimitar, the Knife Collection, and the Prometheum Longsword. This time we Deathstroke. do have a way to heal up. Lex Luthor. And Lex Luthor, we're going to give the Ibis Stick. Lex Luthor. And Nightwing, Nightwing, we are going to give the Lex Corp Helmet. So both of them have Nightwing. burn damage. In the sixth matchup, we have Challenge Radiation. Going up against Zod, Blackest Knight, Martian Manhunter, and Teen Titan Cyborg, who is black. Skill match is 10,000 credits. Now, Destro can do a lot of damage with his heavy attacks. Actually, he is the highest damage dealing silver card in the game because the Prometheum Longsword gives 50% crit damage when it's maxed out. I think we're at 45 right now. So Destro will probably get rid of two people. Getting rid of Zod is really good because he can actually heal some damage when somebody gets knocked out. So that's a good elimination. Here we have to wait until he gets out of his defense phase. So we're going to go off the eye for eye and get rid of him, leaving Team Titan Cyborg by himself. And with no way for the opponent to heal, this should be pretty easy. Here we're just going to try to power drain. Keep him under two bars. And we're going to go off point blank. Block's still able to survive it, but we're going to slash the black off him for the victory in the sixth fight. 288 XP. 6,700 credits. 
For the seventh matchup, we have Arkham Origins, Batman, Dark Side, and Regime Killer Frost. This is going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass. Cards get a level of 32. This couple of matches, 10,000 credits. So in this fight, we kind of have to hope for Nightwing to take the special, not Destro. And at that point, we should be okay. There's the Winged Avenger. Nightwing does not get eliminated because of the Lexport helmet, giving him a lot of blocking. So here we have to try to get rid of somebody with basic attacks. It doesn't look like this with Batman blocks damage, so we're just going to go up to the eye for an eye and get rid of him. So I think we're going to be bringing in a Lex Luthor for burn damage and power damage. So this block that still dries him up. Now keep in mind the Ivistic gets huge value because it burns maximum health. So at minimum you're going to burn 10% damage if you have augments. You can actually burn more than that. So Dark Side gets power drain again. We're just going to whittle him down and let Destro get some power. We can also do that with Nightwing on Killer Frost to prevent the level 2 move, but that puts it under one bar and a second power drain. And both of the burn effects stack too. So, for example, on Nightwing, the custom pistol from Arkham Knight could be really good. Because then you have block breaking here. Nightwing does attack pretty quick as well. So I think we're just going to power drain down Killer Frost and get Destro back in. We don't want to be doing this all day. Mega Blast is going to do some damage. Keep in mind that. Destro can't really heal from the level 1. That power drain puts Darkseid outside of a special. So we're going to go up the eye for an eye in midair. Regime Killer Frost eliminated. Twenty-six thousand seven hundred ninety-six damage for the victory in the seventh fight. 291 XP. 740 credits. In the 8th matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration going up against Martian Manhunter, Red Sun, Superman, and Batgirl. This couple matches 10,000 credits. A Martian Manhunter can be a really dangerous card considering he can power drain out of nowhere. That barely puts him outside of a special. So the faster we can get rid of Martian Manhunter, that power drain is annoying. But Batgirl is in Art of Deception block for about 3,300. So once our health starts getting down, we have to be really careful how we do our specials. So that girl at one bar, that's going to hurt a lot. Now we're going to have to use our specials to heal up after we get rid of that girl. So we're probably going to tag in Nightwing and Stall to heal. Martian Manhunter at 2 bar, they have to power drain that down. So we're going to have to power drain on Martian Manhunter. And a power drain again. So as you see the Ibisic doing more damage in the regeneration. Here we power drain Red Sun Superman under one bar. Nightwing comes in. And we're going to power drain again. Deathstroke is at one bar. And we're going to get off a heal. That actually connected pretty well. So Phase Assault gets blocked for 2,000. And we're going to go off yet another attack. That one also connects, so Martian Manhunter getting down on health. We're going to Power Drain and Ibis stick him. So that'll retard his regeneration. And we're going to get off another one. So Superman comes in, we're going to Power Drain him as well. Deathstroke is at one bar, so we can either just wait to three bars and get rid of people. We can play the retard slow game. It's actually pretty fun. We have two Power Drainers. Especially when one takes half damage from basic attacks. <laughs> Superman getting burnt to a crib. Deathstroke almost at two bars. Now we're going to 
power drain again. Another power drain on Superman, now double burst. This will enlighten you. And the power drain on Martian Manhunter. We're gonna wait until Destro gets his three bars. I really want to get rid of Martian Manhunter first. That pretty much dries him up completely. We're gonna go off the eye for an eye. Martian Manhunter eliminated. So this is a slow and annoying way to do it when your Destro takes too much damage. We were probably just gonna take a flying punch anyway. We don't want to take another one. Now I guess it doesn't matter as much. And Superman eliminate for the victory in the A fight. He just goes up in a smoke of the scimitar. 293 XP. 780 credits. In the ninth matchup, we have Metahuman the Flash, Arrow Green Arrow, and Arkham Origins Bay. Cards gain a level of 33. Skip the match is 15,000 credits. Begin. You have to deal with Metahuman the Flash as quickly as possible. The fact that he's actually pushing Destro to three bars is really good. Is it worth actually using a special? No, it's not. Let's get off the eye for an eye and get rid of Arkham Origins Bane. Because I'm pretty sure he does more damage than he has health. So the Vengeance shouldn't even trigger. No, it does not. So Metahuman the Flash is. We're going to try to slash and get rid of him. We do have one bar available, so we're going to use the Ibis Stick and Power Drain and rot the remaining amount of his health. The arrow Green Arrow's in. Power Drain blocks. And now we can get Destro back in. And we've got the sword flip on Arrow Green Arrow that should force Metahuman the Flash back in. That basically bleeds him to death, so he's gone. And we're going to power drain Metahuman the Flash again. This time we can retard his health regeneration, and down he goes for the victory in the ninth fight. 296 XP. 820 credits. And we receive 300 cards again. For the 10th matchup, we have Challenge Super Move Disable, which does take a lot of offense out of Destro. We up against Balls of Steel, Superman, Zatanna, and the Killing Joke Joker. Cards are level 34. A skip of the match is 15,000 credits. Begin. <laughs> So we're going to have to sword flip and try to get Superman out. That bleed does really good value. Superman eliminated. Killing Joe Joker is in. It's actually better to have Zatanna get to two bars now than have to worry about it later. So we're going to go for a second sword flip that should get rid of the Joker. No, it does not because he blocks. We're going to do something dirty here. Power Drain on Zatanna. It's very gross. And the Power Drain again. So, Killing Joke Joker sent her to two bars and she gets dried out by Nightwing. Very disgusting. No tarot cards for you, bitch. Even though I'd fuck you any day of the week. So we're going to go off another sword clip. Zatanna will either get eliminated or bleed to death. I bring you the gift of pain. And we're going to go off the orbital strike. Zatanna eliminated for the victory in the top fight. Bitch. It's 199 XP. It's 860 credits. So we have to make our second roster change. We're going to throw in Cyborg. I'm going to throw in Regime Cyborg. We are going to throw in Catwoman we can't use. I think we're going to throw in Nightfall Bane a little bit. And we're probably going to switch to Doomsday later on. And we're going to throw in Green Lantern for power generation. So Regime Green Lantern's full. Regime Cyborg. Cyborg. We're going to play a little bit dirty here. We're going to go with the Ibis Stick. We are going to go with 
Clark Kent's glasses. And we are also going to go with the League of Assassins of Death Knights. We have a shitload of power generation. Green and Regime Green Lantern has ghetto damage gear. We're actually going to give him full out basic damage gear now. Green Lantern. Uh, Cyborg is just going to rip people up with Superman. So in the 11th matchup, we have Static, Regime, Hot Girl, and Animated Harley Quinn. Cards are still level 34. I skipped the match. It's 15,000 credits. I think Cyborg does a little over 20,000 with his Superman. Begin. That is just disgusting. <laughs> Somebody got the target lock. Don't mess with the black man. Until they fix Cyborg's native 50% power generation. That is just disgusting. Not even using the Ibis stick for what you're supposed to use it for. Is using it to get to three bars. So I'm gonna second target lock. Don't mess with the black man. I'll send you to the ghetto, nigga. You have to be careful for the level two move, especially if it crits. But we're going the third target lock. Don't mess with the black man. These guns, not maces in Detroit, nigga. 21,554 damage for the victory in the 11th fight. 301 XP. 900 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Countdown. Going up against Hook Girl, Raven, and Argomorgian's Destra. Cards getting a level 35. Skip the match is 15,000 credits. So both Hook Girl and Raven can be one shot with super moves. Deathstroke is going to take a little bit of wear and death, but that's what we have Green Lantern for. So we're going to go the target lock. Don't mess with the black man. I'm sick of your maze, bitch. So Raven comes in first. That's fine. I'm going to go the second target lock. Don't mess with the black man. Point blank does not crit. That's really good. I'm going to go the third target lock. Don't mess with the black man. And finally, the big green penis on Arkham Morgan's Destro is enough to get rid of him for the victory in the 12th fight. You know how this ends. Picture perfect gameplay there. 304 XP. 940 credits. So the Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman Challenge Battle 3 on Nightmare Difficulty is completed, and we will receive a whopping 15,000 credits, putting us at 77,000 credits. So we're going to throw in Doomsday for the next few fights. And where is Doomsday? There he is. Uh, now we should actually use him in the next battle. I think we're going to throw in Mortal Kombat Scorpion. He should be good enough. Especially Scorpion. with power generation. So we're going to give him the Knife Collection, the Prometheum Longsword, and we're going to give him the Nether Realm Cop. Scorpion. Green Lantern. So Regime Green Lantern. We're actually going to give him Rosh Ghul Scimitar. And we're going to give him the Fourth World Helmet just so he can get to three Green bars Lantern. easier. So in the first matchup, we have Red Sun, Solomon Grundy, Godfall, Superman, and Batman Beyond. All cards are level 35 Elite Force. The match is 5,000 credits. So as you see, Godfall, Superman has the most health. So more than likely, he's going to get health up. Scorpion destroying Solomon Grundy. Batman Beyond is it. And that's actually the correct play because it can get rid of him a lot easier than Superman. Explosive battering almost puts him at three bars. We got the Nether Realm. Godfall Superman eliminated. Get over here. Eighty-eight thousand five hundred forty-eight damage for the victory in the first fight. Three hundred sixty-one XP. Five hundred twenty credits. 
For the second matchup, we have Challenge Radiant. She's going up against Bane, Regime Wonder Woman, and Batgirl. Cards lose the promotion to level 35 Elite 3. This is the match is 5,000 credits. So these cards have a lot less health, but you start with one bar of power and the 1% radiation ticking away. So we do have multiple heals on Scorpion. Bane gets destroyed quickly. Wonder Woman is in. And she plus hits for 91-23. Luckily we have Cyborg that can just do super moves pretty much out of nowhere, kind of like Randy Orton with RKO's. We're going to try to get rid of Wonder Woman here. And we're going I think we're actually going to go off a Hellfire. Let's have some fun with this, see if we can get here. That destroys her. We did not get a heal, but that easily wiped her out for the victory in a second fight. 364 XP. 560 credits. At the third matchup, we have Insurgency Joker, Insurgency Batman, and Loba. Cards gain a level of 36. Skip the matches, 5,000 credits. Begin. <laughs> Joker gets wiped out 19,000 damage back to Scorpion. Luckily, we're almost at two bars. So we got the Hellfire. Try to get rid of Batman. Even blocking almost. So we get a decent heal from the Nether Realm combo. Batman eliminated. Lobo is in. We got the flip kick and heal again. Green Lantern is at two bars. So we're about the Beware My Power. Lobo should be eliminated as he is at half health, and I'm pretty sure he does have 53,000 health. Twenty-six thousand two hundred sixteen damage for the victory in the third fight. Three hundred sixty-seven XP. Six hundred credits. All right, so the challenge is regeneration. I think we're going to throw in Dawn of Justice Batman. I have to switch out Cyborg, so we're going to put in Bronze Cyborg. And we're going to put in Batman Returns Catwoman, Batman. so Dawn adjusts as Batman. There's many, multiple ways to make him annoying as hell. We're going to go with the Rasha Ghoul Scimitar. We're going to go with the Knife Collection and the Blade of the War God, so he has a way to heal on Special 1. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration. Going up against Satana, Animated Hurley Quinn, and Killer Frost. Cards are level 36, Elite 3. This couple of matches, 5,000 credits. So Killer Frost has the most health at 45,000. No power drains for the opponent. Look at that damage from Dawn of Justice Batman. Ridiculously good. Killer Frost does get the two bars. We're going to have to eat Gotham Justice. Harley Quinn should be wiped out. Easily for the victory in the fourth fight. 370 XP, 640 credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Static, who is black, Arkham Knight, Batman, and Raven. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. So we want to have a little fun with Raven and just get off a Gotham Justice and Obliterator, or do we want to be playing so Static gets mauled. Arkham Knight, Batman is in first. Looks like he's got the Batarang boost. And crit immunity? Looks like it. So he's gone. We're gonna go off the Dark Knight. Raven eliminated. This Dawn of Justice Batman definitely not working by the hour with 1,300 damage. 126,220 damage for the victory in the fifth fight. 374 XP. 680 credits. In the sixth matchup, we have Challenge Chaos going up against Batman Returns Catwoman, Arca Origins Bane, and Red Sun Batman. Cards gain two promotions and a level to 37 Elite 5. This couple of matches, 10,000 credits. Begin. Batman Returns Catwoman, even at Elite 5, gets destroyed in like five seconds. Arca Origins Bane is it. So there's the Vengeance. Bane is almost at two bars. Bane Barrage will wipe out Batman Returns Catwoman. And it wipes out Cyborg. That's actually fine. So Bane gets wiped out. We're going to go off the Gotham Justice on Red Sun Batman, who is going to get massacred for the victory in the sixth fight. Now 
377 XP. 8,720 credits. In the seventh matchup, we have Martian Manhunter, Superman, and Ares. This good match is 10,000 credits. Superman with 64,000 health. Begin. There's a stun on Dawn of Justice Batman. I think we're just gonna go. There's another stun. A third stun. And we're gonna go off the Gotham Justice. Ares is gonna get massacred real quick. I don't think this will hit on Martian Manhunter. Yes, it does. 38,000 damage. Martian Manhunter gets destroyed. And a shot on Superman. You see Dawn of Justice Batman dominating the opposition. That evasion. Stun hits for 10,000 damage. Super speed kicks in. He is blocking the battery. And Superman gets eliminated for the victory in the seventh fight. 379 XP. 760 credits. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Dampening Field going up against Aquaman, Cassandra Kane, Batgirl, and Balls of Steel Superman. Cards gain a level of 38. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. Now, I'm pretty sure if you use the Gotham Justice while Cassandra Kane, Batgirl comes in, kind of just negates the damage both ways. So Superman comes in first. That's really good. We got the Gotham Justice and put that to the test. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Though. There's the Assassin's Ambush. That actually connects. That was really good. And Cassandra Kane, Batgirl gets dominated for the victory in the eighth fight. 383 XP. 800 credits. So you see, Dawn of Justice Batman is definitely a premium card for good reason. Now we have this new card here that is level 50 Elite 7. His name is Ares. We're going to throw in Teen Titan Cyborg, who is black. And just to play it safe, we're going to give him John Stewart Green Lantern, who's also black. Ares. So we're going to give him Ra's al Ghul Scimitar, the Blade of the War God. I don't think we need to heal. Ares. So in the ninth matchup, we have Hawk Girl, Arkham Harley Quinn, and Prison Superman. So the match is 15,000 credits. If Ares connects with a Godsmack, he's pretty much just going to wipe somebody out. Begin. Arkham Harley Quinn comes in extremely fast. But you see, even without augments, he is still hitting pretty hard. Arkham Harley Quinn is gone. We got the Godsmack. Prison Superman eliminate. You can't block that. Mace Charge block for 3871. And we're going to chop off Hawk Girl's pee pee. For the victory in the ninth fight. Even blocking still did 30,000 damage. 386 XP, 840 credits. And we received three energy cards. In the 10th matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration going up against Regime Aquaman, Crypto Lex Luthor, and Arkham Knight the Arkham Knight. Cards getting a low of 39 Elite 5. This is going to match 15,000 credits. 25% health is in play. Begin. Well, Aquaman about to get dominant. I got the Godsmack. Arkham Knight should be eliminated. That hits for like 90,000 damage. I feel like chopping off Life Loser's ball, so let's get in John Stewart Green Lantern. Let's try to push him for a world domination. Ah, eh, fuck it. Let's just chop his dick off. There's the world domination. Hits pretty hard on Ares. But we're still going to bash him out for the victory in the 10th fight. As we just punch his dick out. 390 XP. 880 credits. In the 11th matchup, we have Elseworld, The Flash, Regime Raven, and Luchador Bay. Cards lose a promotion to Elite Four. Skill match is 15,000 credits. So Elseworld, The Flash is probably going to get dominated early. They could try to chop Again. his PP off right away. There's the bullet time after three hits. 
Harry's actually almost got a hit in through bullet time. No point actually using a special now. So, Raven comes in to get dominated. Lucidor Bane has no power. The Full of Pain does not trigger a stun on Harry. We managed to block him. That just did a lot of damage. We're going to chop off Luchador Bane's dick for the victory in the left fight. Three hundred and ninety-two XP, nine hundred and twenty credits. At the twelfth matchup, we have Challenge Life Drain going up against Insurgency Joker, New Fifty Two Nightwing, and Teen Titan Cyborg, who is black. Cards gain a level of forty and regain the promotion to Elite Five. The skill the match is fifteen thousand credits. Begin. <laughs> Down goes the Joker. I'm gonna get rid of New 52 Nightmare. So Cyborg is in. And we're gonna chop his black cock off for the victory in the 12 fight. Three hundred ninety-five XP, one thousand four hundred forty credits. So the Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman Challenge Battle Four on Nightmare difficulty is completed. Now we have a silver booster pack. Inside we receive a Regime Sinestro, Bolt of Lightning, which is New Fifty Two, the Flash's level two move, and Black Canary, which is Green Arrow's energy boost. So the fifth challenge, Superman, must be on your team. We have like seven variants of Superman all together. So we're going to start off with Doomsday. We are going to throw in... What are we going to throw in with? I think we're going to throw in Arkham Knight Harley Quinn for annoyance factor. And we're going to throw in Dawn of Justice Superman to give him some XP. Doomsday. So Doomsday, we're going to give the Knife Collection. And we're going to give him the Prometheum Longsword. Doomsday. Harley Quinn. Arkham Knight Harley Quinn. We're going to have Rasha Gul Scimitar, the Ibba Stick, and the Fourth World Godly Helmet. And I don't give a fuck Quinn. about Dawn of Justice Superman. So, the first matchup, we have Bane, Red Sun, Superman, and Animated Harley Quinn. Cards are level 40, Elite 5. Skip the match is 30,000 credits. Begin. <laughs> so you see the ridiculous heavy hit by Doomsday. Bane is does true with Venom Tank, so we will do a little bit more damage, but it's going to force him in. Raid Slam blocked for 95-12. Bane is gone. Red Sun Superman in Flying Punch blocked for 10,000. Red Sun Superman about to go down. Animated Harley Quinn, we're going to take that hit on purpose, and we're going to go the mass destruction. Animated Harley Quinn eliminated. And yes, certain cards can do the fifth battle by himself. Doomsday is definitely one of them. 83,499 damage for the victory in the first fight. 392 XP. 540 credits as Dawn of Justice Superman should hit 41. In the second matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration going up against Ares, Regime Raven, and Batman. Skill to match is 30,000 credits. Now, the next fight is where it's going to be a huge problem. We're probably going to have to actually swap our roster because Killer Frost and Doomsday do not work together. Or we could just throw Fourth World gear on and not care. Although the damage would go down substantially. <laughs> So the Twilight's end hits for like 24,000. Raven gets dominated. We're going to go off the Earth Shake on Batman. That is enough to get rid of him for the victory in the second fight. 395 XP. 580 credits. So, in the third matchup, we have Regime Killer Frost, Arc of Origin, Deathstroke, Blackest Knight, Martian Manhard. That is a devastating team to fight by yourself. So, we're going to give him Arc of Origin's Batman. Batman. And we're going to throw on... We're going to give him the Ibis Stick. And I think we're going to go with Double Lexcorp. 
Because that is pretty solid. Batman. So the third matchup we have Regime Killer Frost, Ark of Origins, Deathstroke, Blackest Night, Martian Manhart. You really can't heal with Doomsday. So I think we're going to swap out the knife collection for another gear item called another own comma so you can crit more. Doomsday. Skip the matches, 30,000 credits. So these are all pretty high health cards too. We have to try to get rid of Deathstroke with Begin. Ark of Origins, Batman. <laughs> Cold Designs block for about 8,000, so Ark of Origins, Batman, and Destro come in. We're so close to three bars, we're just going to off the Dark Knight and get rid of him. No point trying to do a Winged Avenger and get it blocked. Just get rid of him. So Killer Frost is back in. Keep in mind the Lex Corp chestplate gives up to 70% crit chance, so that's why Ark of Origins, Batman, doing some damage. Cold Designs block for about 2600. We're just going to get rid of him and go throw it a burn on Martian Manhunt. So at this point, I think it's just better to get in Doomsday. He did miss the Cloak of Destiny stun there. Look off the Mass Destruction and Blackest Night Martian Manhunter eliminated. Three thousand four hundred ninety-nine damage for the victory in the third fight. Three hundred ninety-nine XP. Dawn of Justice Superman gains a level of forty-one. Six hundred and twenty credits. So we're going to make a roster change. We're going to throw in Godfall Superman next, and we're going to throw in Arkham Origins Deathstroke for three fights. Do we want to leave in Arkham Origins Batman or swap for somebody else? All right. So we're going to throw in Godfall Superman next. And I think we're going to throw in Red Sun, Solomon, Grundy. We're going to leave Arkham Origins Batman alone for a little bit. So for Deathstroke, we're going to give him Ra's al Ghul Scimitar. We're going to give him the Knife Collection and the Promethium Longsword so he has a way to heal. Deathstroke. And Red Sun, Solomon, Grundy, we are going to give the Ibis Stick and double Lexcorp because his dead Solomon blood is Grundy. actually really good. So in the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Countdown going up against Killer Frost, Luchador Bane, and Lobo. This good match is 30,000 credits. And because of the Rasha Wheel Scimitar, we can do this crap. Killer Frost takes a lot of damage, and that should be almost enough to get rid of her right off the bat. Down goes Killer Frost. Lobo is it. Power Drain Immunity. So you can't Power Drain Lobo. Hook charge block for 4289 is only one hit for next. What we have to watch out for is Luchador Bane coming in off the tag and snipe. So we have to be in defensive mode for Too slow. Too slow. There it is, Rage Slam hits. No mercy! Way ahead of me. <laughs> Luchador Bane at two bars, tags out, that's really bad. Bitter Taste could do a lot of damage and probably wipe somebody out. But we got the Dead's Blood, Lobo eliminated, and that should be enough to deal with Luchador Bane as well. Can't stun through that. Easy enough to get rid of him, even blocking for the victory in the fourth fight. 401 XP. 660 credits. For the fifth matchup, we have Arkham Origins, the Joker, Dark Side, and Regime Superman. Let's get the match, it's 40,000 credits. Begin. So we're going to go off the point blank early. That does not hit 200%. We're going to try again. Now the Joker is gone. Dark Side is in. Power Drain's under one bar. Second point blank. Dark Side is gone. Shin Superman barely under one bar. I'm basically not gaining any power. And the point blank easily deals with Regime Superman for the victory in the fifth fight. So as you see, Deathstroke with the Rasha Girl Scimitar, a lot of value. 405 XP, 700 credits. 
In the sixth matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration going up against Bane, Arkham Origins Bane, and Arkham Origins Batman. This is going to match is 40,000 credits. Now, in this situation, even though there is no three bars of power, so Arkham Origins Bane can cheese out a super move with Batman, you still have to be pretty careful with Arkham Origins Batman. Bane is taking a lot of damage and getting control pretty easily. They were just kind of playing defensively. If Batman comes in, we're going to the Identity Crisis and get rid of him. That last shot might connect. Yes, it does, even though it doesn't do that much damage. So we're going to take the point blank. Have to survive the main garage. He doesn't get a chance to do it, so we slice him up for the victory in a sixth fight. 408 XP. 740 credits. So now we have to make our third roster change. I think now we are going to throw in Dark Side along with Martian Manhunter, which is a pretty weird team in itself. And we're going to throw in the myth, the legend, the asshole, Prison Superman. Dark Side. So Dark Side, we're just going to give raw damage gear. Knife Collection, Blade of the War God, Prometheum Longsword. Or Martian Manhunter. Martian Manhunter. We are going to give the Cloak of Destiny. And we are going to give him more damage gear. So we're going to give him the Escrima Sticks and the Nether Realm Comma. Martian Manhunter. So in the seventh matchup, we have Insurgency Joker, Cassandra Kane, Batgirl, and Batman Returns Catwoman. This good match is 40,000 credits. And if you glance up at the ninth fight, there is a bloated health card in 9, 11, and 13. <laughs> The Joker can be a pretty fast attacker. He actually is one of the few cards that has a better heavy attack than a light attack. Can we bait? Yes, we can. That is beautiful. Take the damage off the main gold card. And Prison Superman, ladies and gentlemen, is going to get a knockout. Yes, he is. Unbelievable. Cat Claws is blocked. That's going to do some damage to Dark Side. But we're going to the Fire the Apocalypse. Looks like it's blocked. Yes, it is. That sucks. That's like the worst move to get blocked, although when it connects, it does ridiculous da dot damage. Here we've got the Pillar Slam, Batman Returns, Catwoman Eliminate, because it's mid-special, it's not going to trigger the Assassin's Ambush. No Man's Land blocked, for about 23,000. Get off another stun, so we hit heavy on our attacks. And Cassandra Kane Batgirl is about to get eliminated for the victory in the seventh fight. Four hundred and ten XP, seven hundred and eighty credits. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Radiation going up against six hundred Wonder Woman, New Fifty Two Nightwing, and Crypto Lex Luthor. This good match is forty thousand credits. 600 Wonder Woman has 30% damage power generation. New 52 Nightwing does 200% base attack for 3 seconds. Kind of like Infernal Scorpion in Mortal Kombat X. And Crypto Lex Luthor gives 30% health to the entire team. Shift Toss hits for 22,000. That does a nice chunk of damage to Darkseid. Then we're going to try to use the Omega Blast to get rid of 600 Wonder Woman. And we don't do so. Lex Luthor is in. We don't have any Lex Court gear. Well, that power drain is going to connect. We're going to get in Martian Manhunter. We got a stun off the tank. We would have caught that. We would have actually got off a pillar of phase assault to get rid of it. Volga Destiny is one of the best gear items for Prime Martian Manhunter. We get so much value if we get a stun. So here we don't get a stun. Martian Manhunter gets power drain. And we're going to get off an Omega Blast on New 52 Nightwing just to cycle a heal. Oh man, Prison Superman trying to go two knockouts in two fights. Yes, indeed. Does not get it. Shield Toss wipes out Prison Superman. Unfortunately, does not get another pussy knockout. Nightwing doing some basic damage. That power drain connects. Now we got Martian Manhunter in. And we're going to go off the phase assault. Block should be able to save him. Not quite at one bar, though. So we bash him out for the victory. In the ninth fight. Actually, that's the eighth fight. 414 XP, 12,820 credits. In 
the ninth matchup, we have Regime Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and Arkham Knight Batman. Aquaman has 145,000 health. Skip the match is 70,000 credits. And I, I think for this fight, we're going to go a little bit more defensively. Um, no, I don't think we are. I think we're just going to throw the Ibis stick on, though. Martian Manhunter. And Dark for side. Dark Side, I think we're going to go with the LexCorp helmet, just so everybody has a little bit of black. Who you don't want to take an Arkham Assault. So both of the main guys can do some dot damage. I'm going to get in Martian Manhunter first. Get some good value on Regime 1. There we get a stun, so we're going to unload. We get another stun, so the phase assault will get rid of Regime Wonder Woman easily. Now this is where it becomes a problem. They did not actually use the two bar. So we're going to go off a phase assault. We'll see if he used crit. No, he did not, but that still did a lot of damage. It was stick burning away on Arkham Knight Batman. I'm trying to melee him down. We're just going to go off a phase assault and try to get rid of him. Leave it a two on one. So now we just have to kind of trade in when he spear chucks. And we got the Fires of Apocalypse that is not blocked, so that's going to burn a lot of damage. A lot of health. 6851. Now we've got the Phase Assault. Mostly just used to cycle the burning. So it looks like Dark Side's burning does like a lot of damage. And Aquaman eliminate for the victory in the ninth fight. Mere child's play. 522 XP. 1,290 credits. Alright, so now we are going to use a team of whole gold. We're going to use Batman. Mm, we don't have enough for Arkham Origins Batman. Who do we have that's still level 50? I think we have Arkham Harley Quinn. We also have Regime Superman, so that'll work pretty good, saving our Red Sun team for the final three fights. So we're going to throw in Regime Superman next. Superman. And we're just going to load him up with the same damage gear we normally use. Now, Harley Quinn, Superman. we are actually going to use Harley the Quinn. fourth world set. That way we can trigger damage boosts and other garbage, too. And she really doesn't do that well of damage anyway, Harley so Quinn. that's perfect fight. And Batman, we're going to give the Imbistick and two-piece Lexcorp, which still works really well. It'll be a matter of time before Batman. they change the... Well, actually, the Lexcorp set boost doesn't really matter that much outside of the power drain swapping. So, that might be fine. In the seventh matchup, or actually the tenth matchup, we have Challenge Second Special Attack Disabled. Going up against Zod, Red Sun, Batman, and Reverse Flash. Simple match is 70,000 credits. 25% health and attack for my team. Begin. No unblockable level 2s for me. So here we want to use the flying punch to get rid of Zod. Very important because you don't want him healing up when somebody gets knocked out. And Red Sun Batman can actually manipulate the block breaker, as you see right there. So basically cheese the free hit. We're going to take that back, though. My health back. So Red Sun Batman in pretty bad shape. There is Reverse Flash. Lightning Kick is blocked for about 7,000 as he misses one kick. That one, however, is going to connect for about 20,000. Explosive Battering block. So we should just feel that right back. Sully Regeneration and Punch it. Looks like he healed him all the way full. So let's just get rid of him. Had enough? That time he did not cycle through it. So Harley Quinn is going to be at three bars. We're going to go off Harley's Mallet and Light Reverse Flash's Balls on Fire as Sully Regeneration cannot trigger uh, stuns or super moves. This will be a blast! However, Evasion, I think, cat. 109,229 damage for the victor in the 10th flight. 
421 XP, 900 credits. In the 11th matchup, we have Prison Superman Teen Titan Cyborg, who is black with 138,000 health and arrow green arrow. The skill to match is 70,000 credits. And that's why it's still very important to have somebody with an image stick with these bloated health cards. It is a lot of value. That's why you usually see me have it with Red Sun Superman. So Prison Superman does not outheal the damage done by Regime Superman. Teen Titan Cyborg is in. So we're going to get Batman in and start cycling the Ibis trick. Because you see both the LexCorp helmet and the Ibis stick stack, the League of Assassins uh, weapon does as well, which has not evolved yet. So you can actually do like 26% dot damage a second, assuming they're all maxed out. And the helmet actually ups the crit damage, so if you have augments, that number goes even higher. So here we get a stun. We're just going to wait and just get rid of Arrow Green Arrow with basic attacks. We took a power gen there, but it didn't do that much. Here we have to watch out for the touchdown. We're going to go off the Kryptonian Smash. Team Titan Cyborg will be at critical health. Actually, that was enough to get rid of him for the victory in the 11th fight. As Harley Quinn spits right on his ass. 530 XP, 1,410 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Chaos going up against Ares, John Stewart, Green Lantern, who is black, and Regime Wonder Woman. Skip the match is 70,000 credits. And a Batgirl in the 13th fight. That's really interesting with double red suns. Ares is getting pummeled early. Here's the post emergency barrier. Weapons of War blocked for about 8,000. Give me my health back. Actually, Batman gets four sits, so we're going to burn John Stewart Green Lantern. You like discipline. We got the flying punch on Green Lantern. Hits for 13,000. Turbine Smash blocked for 8483. Wonder Woman hits the shield toss for 15,000. But I want my health back. Harley Quinn is in. I think we're going to try YOLO a Bob. That's not going to get rid of her, but that's going to do a lot. That does get rid of her, actually. Wow. Impressive. Turbine Smash block. We're going to go off the way of the bat. This should trigger the emergency barrier. Yes, it does. But we get the life drain from the Lexport chest. Blade. That basically kills all of the timer. Flying Punch will easily get rid of John Stewart Green Lane before the victory in the 12th fight. 426 XP. 980 credits. All right, so we're going to throw on the Dream Team for the final three fights. And no, it is not Arkham Knight, Batman, Dawn of Justice, Batman, and Blackest Knight, Martian Manhunter. We don't have those guys maxed out, but yeah, that's probably the best team you can use if you know how to gear and play them right. So we're going to use Red Sun, Superman, Green Lantern, and Wonder Woman. And we're going to use the same gear we use in multiplayer. So Superman. We are going to give Red Sun, Superman. I think we're actually going to have some fun with him. We're going to use the Cloak of Destiny. We're going to use the League of Assassins, the Death Knives. And we are going to use... Do I want to use basic damage? Probably not. What do I have else that's special? I think we are going to. Um, 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 we have the League of Assassins and Duck Hood for ridiculous crit damage. I think Superman. we're going to do that. So Red Sun Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman, we're going to give the Fourth World entire three-piece, which will be really good if we have to deal with a high damage radiation in Fight 15. And Wonder for Red Sun Green Lantern, Green Lantern, we are going to give him the entire LexCorp set, even though we really only need two pieces. We don't have the League of Assassins blade maxed out for duck damage. So in the 13th matchup, we have Red Sun Deathstroke, Batgirl, and Red Sun Green Lantern. Batgirl has 138,000 health. The Red Sun cards cannot be crit or stuck. So the match is 70,000 credits. Although keep in mind, Red Sun Suitman is going to do a lot of damage with his flying punch. Anyways, if he doesn't get blocked, he's going to be in the neighborhood of 40,000 damage. <laughs> if you don't miss. That's pretty bad. <laughs> So we're going to try not to miss and not take a contract hit. Do some moderate damage to Superman. 
So, Batgirl gets that off. Only hits for 17,000. We got the flying punch on Batgirl. 120,000 damage. Again, we take a move we don't need. So, that actually power drains. So, that was the worst thing you could do. And Green Lantern gets dominated for the victory in the 13th fight. So, the two piece League of Assassins gear gets some value there. 538 XP, 1,530 credits. At the 14th matchup, we have Challenge Dampening Field going up against Balls of Steel, General Zod, Green Lantern, Sinestro, and Shazam. This couple matches 70,000 credits. Begin. Slower power gain, gain does not mean much when you're getting crit for 11,000 with no basic damage gear. Green Lantern, Sinestro, Zod, give me some power. 12 seconds to survive this, or we just fill up for free, basically. Both of Juice is going to connect, I really don't care, and Shazam gets dominated for the victory in the 14th fight for 120,000 damage. 432 XP, 1,060 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Chaos and Super Moves Disabled going up against Justice League Wonder Woman and Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman. Justice League Wonder Woman has 45,000 damage, 69,000 health. Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman, 45,000 damage, 194,000 health. This kind of matches 100,000 credits. I don't see this fight actually being that hard. Especially because Superman does ridiculous damage even with no basic damage gear. That's like 200% crit damage off of nothing. I think we're just going to safely get rid of that Wonder Woman. So now we have Dawn Adjusted Wonder Woman who can't even heal. Shield Toss reflects her into one bar, so we're going to go off the Shield Toss. You're not up to this. We have a second Shield Toss. 51,000 crit. That Shield Toss only connects, but because of the fourth world gear, really doesn't matter. Here we're going to take a Turbine Smack. And this fight definitely seems extremely easy. And the Apocalypse Dark Side is actually challenging. This is not. I almost want to just try for a stun here to be a dick. Just because we have no chance of losing this fight. Tag in stun for the victory in the 15th fight. 546 XP. 6,200 credits. So the Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman Challenge Battle 5 on Nightmare Difficulty ends with a 1 damage stun. And we're going to get our 5th Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman. So we have 4 promotions all together. Or do we have 5? We might have 5 promotions. We get another... Sword and Shield. You replay the challenge the maximum number of times allowed. You will not be able to replay the challenge again. So we're going to go into our collection. And we're going to see Dawn of Justice 1 winner should have 5 cards. Why do I have 5 cards? Because if you buy the early access pack, for some reason, it gave me 3 copies. It gave Dylan Letterman 2. Somebody even got like 7, I think, but it's some crazy stuff. So if you like this video on the full five battles of the Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman Challenge on Nightmare Difficulty, KOing the final boss with a one damage stun, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Injustice God Among Us videos on my playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Shono, and have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Shono. Subscribe, bitches!